the more poor choices you make, the less good choices you have to make. But you still have good choices. But if you continue to make poor ones, the good ones get smaller and smaller and smaller. The consequences get larger and larger and larger. Pattern yourself after good choices that are informed from what the Word of God says. If we're not accountable to God or to others, then we will fail Hello and welcome back to Bible Line. As you can see, the light is yellow. So we are doing our mental health, spiritual health series. My name is Jesse Martinez. I'm the pastor here at Calvary Community Church. I'm also the host of Bible Line. Usually I have a black sweater on, but I forgot to bring that sweater into filming today. So this episode and the next one, you won't have the black sweater. I'm sorry. But we're going to talk about accountability. And really, they're short videos, and I think it'll be helpful for you. Uh, back in about 2019, I did a study for our men's Iron Sharpens Iron Bible study that happens at the end of each month, January through October, in our back building. And I talked about accountability because at that time, a friend of mine had started doing accountability with me. We would call each other every week, sometimes meet in person, and we would go through a list of questions that stemmed off of honest communication and kind of an assessment as how did this week go spiritually and also physically? And I think that can do a lot of help for you. Now, I know that this might require another person, but you can do this on your own in the form of prayer, and we'll talk about that. Let's get into some definitions, though, first. The first one is accountable. According to Merriam-Webster, accountable is subject to giving an account, answerable, capable of being explained. I want to focus on that word answerable. Accountability is giving an account for something. In light of today's topic, accountability is giving an account for your thoughts, actions, and motivations in your walk with the Lord. As we walk with the Lord, we will have struggles. In sports, it's sometimes called off-the-field issues. This describes an athlete who can excel on the field but struggles outside of the game. Many Christian men and women are like these athletes. They have it all together at church or church functions, but are drowning in addictions or sins at home. Oftentimes, these same men struggle with poor thoughts and motivations as well. The goal is to help us realize that we are all accountable to God and that we can help each other stay accountable to him through honest communication amongst trusted peers. I want to talk just a little bit before we go to the next paragraph there about that phrase, through honest communication amongst trusted peers. Honest communication is the operative phrase there. We have got to realize if we are lying to ourselves, we are treating ourselves with the most disrespect. There is nothing worse than a person who cannot be honest with themselves. Now, you may think to yourself, that's me. I'm dishonest with myself. There's nothing worse than me. I don't mean to discourage you to the point where you can't make better choices, but we do need to realize how severe it is to be dishonest with ourselves. I mean, we're, we're, we're literally lying to ourselves. If we cannot be honest with ourselves, how are we going to be honest with anybody else? How are we going to be able to study the scripture in a way that's profitable if we're just trying to twist everything to say what we want it to say? If this is you, recognize it and make the decision to move forward. But as you communicate with somebody else, maybe there's, a, there's some of you listening who have the opportunity with a friend or a family member uh, to do this accountabil uh, accountability with another person. You want to be honest. If there are shameful things that need to be brought up, bring them up. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in, in, in the next paragraph here. But... The point of this is to get better, to have somebody help hold you accountable with the things you struggle. Accountability is not a time to gossip or to revel in our struggles with sin. I see this sometimes on you know YouTube and other things like that. People will stand up and they'll be like, oh, I used to do this and I used to do that. And the audience will start, they'll start working the audience like, oh, there's a bunch of laughing and I, oh yeah, those were the good old days and blah, blah. Those are the days when you did things that put Jesus on the cross. Those are the days when we were only slaves to sin. 
we should not be uh, gossiping about that time and looking back on it fondly. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying you have to show me shame either, but if you're kind of gloating in your sin, you're glorying as first Corinthians five, Paul said, your glorying is not good. It is not a show and tell time either. You know, here's my sin. Oh, here's your sin. Oh, look at us. It's a time to listen, to share, and to pray. Prayer should be involved throughout the conversation. It's not a time for advice per se, but advice given correctly can help. Accountability is not the weaker brother coming to the stronger brother and the stronger brother saying, bah, 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 bah. that's, uh, you know, don't do this. You need to do this. All right, take these and I'll see you later. No, that's not, that's not the purpose of accountability. There may be times for advice, but a lot of the times accountability is a time to listen and pray for one another. Listen to your partner and pray. Then they can return the listening and prayer for you. Here's some tips to better understand accountability. Number one, accountability starts with you. As we walk with the Lord, is to remember, it is important to remember what Paul said in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1. Be ye followers of God as dear children. Accountability starts with us. We have our example in Christ. It's our job to model behavior in our public and private lives after Jesus Christ. Don't wait for someone else to get on board. Start with yourself. Number two, you are already accountable. The Bible tells us that we shall all give account to ourselves to God in Romans 14, 12. The day you begin to be held accountable was the day you understood right from wrong. There is not a soul on the earth who will not be held accountable for their actions. If we live in the deception that we are simply the recipients of others' actions, then we live in a false reality. I hear this kind of mindset a lot. Well, the devil made me do it, brother. Oh, the devil's really getting after me, whatever it may be. And they use that as an excuse for their lack of discipline. It's a false reality to think that we are merely the recipients of all this bad stuff and that we ourselves do not have the ability to do things poorly, to, to live in our sinful, fleshly nature. You're already held accountable to God. You need to wake up to that reality. Number three, accountability is not a one-time thing. It's an all-time thing. People who are not accountable are always looking for an excuse to get themselves out of a jam. You must keep yourself accountable. And you do that through these steps here. Accountability is the difference between success and failure. The accountable person is the person who takes ownership of their actions. In turn, this leads to a life lived with intention. I want to live intentionally. I want you to live intentionally for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that requires you to be aware of the choices that you have to make and to make good choices. I've often said this too. The more poor choices you make, the less good choices you have to make, but you still have good choices. But if you continue to make poor ones, the good ones get smaller and smaller and smaller. The consequences get larger and larger and larger. Pattern yourself after good choices that are informed from what the word of God says. If we're not accountable to God or to others, then we will fail living only in our flesh. Beware of the flesh. It is strong and it knows your weakness. Now you may have noticed I read from a script here. We can have that script available for you. We will link it in the description below, BibleLineMinistries.org under Dr. Jesse Martinez articles. So come back next week and we'll go through the different questions we can ask as we try to keep our, ourselves accountable. I hope this has been a benefit to you. Leave your comments, leave your questions. Questions at BibleLineMinistries.org is our email. You can send us anything there and we'll try to get back with you. Until next time, keep looking up. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Thank you. I am praying for you and may God richly bless you. If you enjoyed today's episode of Bible Line, make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. Do you have a Bible question? Send us an email, questions at BibleLineMinistries.org, and we'll do our best to get you an answer. Or you can leave your question in the comments of this video. Be sure to check the links in the description for more clear Bible teaching. Bible Line is a ministry of Calvary Community Church located in Tampa, Florida.